Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Expeditions Viking. We are performing our attack on Lindisfarne. Uh, we got to show the uh, people of Northumbria and uh, Pictavia that uh, they can't take me for granted. And, of course, you know, the Franks. But it's not like we interact with them. All right, let's go ahead and end the turn. See how we go. We're going to run up and do some healing. That's fine. That's going to put you into um, archery range. You're going to come in and try to punch me. Wow, one whole point of damage. Oh, oh I don't know how I'm going to survive. Sacrament. Okay. Tactical move. Oh, you're going to tactically move away from uh, my spear. Makes me sad. Oh, no, it's four points of damage. All the civvies. The traps are definitely the most problematic uh, part of this. Wow, really? Really? Alright. Let's do a quick shot. We can take you out. So I can get uh, Nafia there and attack straight through them. Uh, let's take you out. Come on, no traps. Ooh, so nice. Love that. Love that spear. Love that spear so much. All right, let's uh, let's go see about taking care of these guys. Uh, do you have... No, you don't have the double attack. Alright, well, we'll spot traps. Get up here. Let's flank you. Actually, why didn't I not? Why did I not go there? It's fine. Does anyone have stun that they can do? Odd assortment of uh, abilities there, buddy. Well, you can actually just stab that guy. So that's good. Up there, maybe you'll take some damage. Nope. It was a hope. Alrighty. Let's shoot you. I mean, I'm not. I'm not playing smartly with these people because I don't care about them. <laughs> that. Oh, you're almost you're still alive. Let's see. It's fine. It's fine. Alright. Uh, my people down here. Uh, we want to do a 1-2. Oh, shucks. F 
fine. Have a rock. I can do a heavy swing. It's not as much as I would have liked. Can I kill you? Yes. Critical hit. Nice. Okay. Uh, I want to... Do a little bit of healing. Thank you. And chuck a rock. I've already chucked a rock with you. Alright, that's about it. Five enemies remaining. You're gonna stun. It's fine. Demoralize. Tactical move. Oh god, he hit me with a rock. Run away! Seriously, am I going to have to chase you down? I'm going to have to chase you down. Uh, who do I want to chase you down? Alright, Nifia. Don't, don't get into a trap. Ah, you know what? Perfect. Danax. Uh, Rodgerda, 1-2. Seriously. <laughs> Quick shot from that range missed. <laughs> God damn. Wow. That is uh that is pretty pretty tremendous. Eighty percent chance to hit with uh, aimed shot. It would be ninety-five, uh, but that is unfortunate. All right. Well, we'll take the eighty percent chance. That thing deserves to be commemorated in verse. It was Harry too. One enemy remaining. Uh, we'll let Nephew take care of that. Oh, look at that. You decided to move in a little bit closer. Hi there. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, no new injuries for any... Wow, even the one who uh, went down had no new injuries. Let's see, an elm bow, cloth armor, mail armor... 70 durability, plus 10 hit points, plus 1 movement. Doesn't look like they have anything, like, really special. Throdgera hooks the blade of a long CX into the crook of her elbow and wipes the blood from the blade on her shirt. If that was instructional, you fight like your father. Let's split up. We'll take the church, you check the small building. A crooked smile twists her lips. As you command, Jarl, don't forget to have fun. New goal, ransack the church for valuables. Kill or spare the clerics as it pleases you. Well, empty. Empty. 56 valuables. 
seven valuables. One herb. Four rations. Uh, bladders. Another bladder. Ah, there's a cairn. Take a pot. Hey, he's empty. Empty. One skill point. I know I'm supposed to check the church, but there might be other things. Alright, nothing else down there. Let's check this body. Fourteen valuables. <laughs> There's still at least one more of those around somewhere, so, uh... Ah, good. Rope. Two rope. Oh, hello. A card with several stones that has been chiseled into a square shape. over to the other side. To medicine. Aha! The stone speaks of an enchanted glade where a weary traveler may find respite from the winds of the seas and the shelter of sturdy trees. Offerings to the spirits of the woods were brought there in ancient times and sacrificed upon an, a stone altar that now holds what you're searching for. Lucky thing that Jarl Ragnhild, Ragnhilder asked us about this raid. We would never have found the stone otherwise. Truly the gods smile upon us. We still need to find that glade, of course. If any of it still remains, I doubt any Christians were here when the stone was erected. Kind of surprised that they didn't get rid of that stone, actually. Three herbs. Three herbs. Uh, cork valuables and hides. get here. Oh. Two herbs? Holy cow, look at all the herbs. All the foxglove. And all of the poppy. Well, that, uh, that really gave us a lot more in the way of uh, herbs. All right. So let's pop out to the man. Okay. That's not helping that much. Excuse me. I'm just going to reach around you. Thank you. We're in a small glade with a stone altar. Let's 
sheltered from the... Back here, maybe? Aha! You and your people dig around the stones for some time, but you find nothing of interest. It's useless, there's nothing here. Did we misinterpret the inscriptions? Wait, if this used to be a ritual site, the Christians could have moved it when they built the graveyard. Oh, but the hiding spot itself would, s would probably have been left alone. I guess we'll have to dig up all the graves. Shrug, it won't be the first time we've robbed a grave. Why not? They're just Christians. The Easier won't won't care. I'm afraid we'll have to. Hopefully the spirits will forgive us. I'm afraid we'll have to. Hopefully the spirits will forgive us. Open minded and superstitious followers of game morale and skeptical and conceited followers of lost morale. Oh, not this nonsense about spirits again. What do you know about spirits? Better safe than sorry, I say. Valuables. It is really tough to see this stuff in, uh, in the dark. they don't highlight. So did I miss any? Missed one. Well, that must have been empty. Ancient tablet. This ancient stone tablet reveals part of the elaborate instructions for reaching the resting place of the mythical king. I guess I've, uh, I don't know where, how I got that grease, but that's kind of creepy. Alright, uh, and I can decompose that conifer. Alright, so we've got two ancient tablets. Um, two of seven, alright. Alright, let's go in. Stairs down. Cuthbert. Cuthbert. Ave Maria. Something, something or other. Do, 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 do. I missed how many I got there. Fifteen valuables. Valuables of string. I don't know what you said. I'm taking your valuables. Twenty valuables. Empty. Twenty valuables. valuables. Why do they keep valuables in their uh, books? Uh, torch. Tons of valuables. Take it. Stop moving when, when you're talking. I can't read what you're saying. You desecrate the house of the Lord with your presence. Yeah, what, what, what's your point? You, you say that like it's a bad thing. Rope, vial, extracts. I don't actually see an option to murder these people. Hi! Why? 
Why are you doing this to us? Something like that. Uh, you're, you're available. And I'm angry at Pictavia Northumbria. Ooh, lots more valuables. Cloth and salvage. So, can I go down these stairs? I can, apparently. Medicine. I don't know where you went. Uh, open, please. Barricaded door. This door has been barricaded from the inside. You want to use your strength to breach it? Can I use gunner's strength? Breach! Armor bomb, medicine, string. Empty. Expected better from you people. Let's quick save for a second. Hello? No, please spare the children! Why should anyone be spared? We're here to show the Christians the full scope of our wrath. He's trying to keep the children safe. Surely not everyone must be killed. Kill him. Where is your god now, old man? I'm sorry, no one is to be spared. Then we're just here for your treasure. Stay hidden here and you may live. That's fine. A reputation with... Oh. Reputation with Rebay and Northern ha Northmen has decreased by... Fi uh. Uh, aggressive and conceited followers have lost morale, but open-minded followers have gained morale. The old priest whimpers but nods. Children huddle behind him while your people ransack the room. That's fine. As long as it's not scared. Valuables, hides, cloth. Nice. Heidi ho! Not like I spared the people outside, but. Please have mercy! I'm working on it. Oops, these are on the other side. Some string. Why are there string on the uh, shelf? I don't know. Ooh, a conifer. Some wood. I'm just here for your wood. Sheesh. Take my life if you must, but spare the books! Uh, I, I think it's a little late for that. And books aren't really valuable, so I'm, I'm fine leaving them as is. Alright, up we go. There's Frog Gerda. Medicine and valuables. What is going on here? Screams reach you long before you find their source. Frog Gerda is circling a deeply wounded cleric whose robe marked him as a man of high rank until it got cut up. A childhood memory comes to you unbidden. The nasty old cat on Idas' farm circling a mortally wounded rabbit with detached curiosity. Surely your god must intervene any moment now. You don't have much blood left in you. You can hardly afford to wait for him. The man's eyes show dull fear. He stares straight ahead and repeats some kind of incantation over and over again. Sancta Maria Mater Dei Ora Pro Nobis Peccatoribus Nunc et In Hora Mortis Nostre. Perhaps a flaming spear will whistle through a window and impale me, or perhaps, or maybe I should expect some stones, the stones to open beneath me and swallow me whole. He doesn't understand you. Stop playing with your food, Rodgerda. You made your point. Release him. Kill the bishop. We don't have time for this. Go on then, have your fun. I'll go and rendezvous with Skelligrimmer. He doesn't understand you. She stops behind him and places a hand gingerly on his shoulder. He flinches, but his chanting continues uninterrupted. I think my message is getting through to him just fine. The language I speak is universal. Viper fa fast, she cuts off his right ear without an, with an artful flourish of her CX. He manages to sc a scream and a drawn-out whimper. You've made your point. Release him. 
open-minded followers of gain morale and conceited followers of lost morale. Her eyes narrow and her held head tilts slightly. Why? We're here to send a message. That works better if someone is alive to relay what we've done here. You can't treat people like this, not even your enemies. Uh, reputation with yelling has decreased by five. Cunning followers have lost morale, but honorable followers have gained morale. You're right, there's no reason to be cruel. Oh, she's gonna kill him, isn't she? she yeah, wait for it, wait for it. Yep. There, nice, clean kill, happy? You heartless maniac. Rodgerda rolls her eyes. I think we're done here. Turn to the ships and see if Skalagrimmer has returned yet. Well, I'll take that wooden cross and the valuables. Better than letting his uh, corpse go to waste. Some more rope is always nice. Some more rope and empty. I was actually kind of hoping that we might find something uh, related to our father here. Okay, is there anything else to investigate? Alright, there's Scala Grimmer. There's Hrod Gerda. Is that my ship? Better not be my ship. I think that is my ship. What is she doing to my ship? Oh. Apparently I missed one. Or something? Why was there cork in the grave? Alright, let's go down and talk to uh, Scala Grimmer. Uh, Rebay is only 30. Yelling is minus 10. North minus 5. Scala Grimmer's herd is busy packing a sack after sack of loot from the village. Unto, unto all three ships? Unto. Despite this, he looks annoyed. I heard the Christians actually gave you a little resistance here. The villagers all but rolled over. I prefer an honorable fight against trained warriors. There's no glory in slaughtering unarmed villagers. But I think the message will be heard loud and clear in Charlemagne's court. The Norse are not to be trifled with. When word of this raid spreads, we'll have no trouble mustering a great army. You'll soon be in command of the greatest army the North has ever seen, has seen since Bravalier. I trust this will secure the support of Sigurdur Ring. I'm just honored to serve my king. Mm, let's go with that. Cooperative followers of gain morale, independent followers of lost morale. Alright, why don't we get the formalities out of the way right now? Helmandrena, by the authority with which I've been entrusted by Sigurdur Ring, king of the Geats, the Danes, and the Jutes, and his Jarl Ragnhildr the White, I hereby recognize your authority as Jarl of Orkniar. Clan power has increased. Uh, reputation with Rebay has increased by 10. Uh, ooh. Um, well, Northumbria still considers me loved. So Northumbria went down by 10. Mercia pick, uh, and Picks went down by 10. Mercia and the Gales went down by 5. Hmm. Skellagrimmer stands again and presents you with his shield. For my part, I offer you my shield. Herd Odin's as... Token of my allegiance. You received Odin's door. You've been doing great things over here. I believe that one day all of Britannia will be under your rule, and I will help you make that happen. You do me great honor, thank you. I'm planning no invasion, but I'm grateful for your allegiance nevertheless. Peaceful followers of gain morale and aggressive followers of lost morale. Let's get these ships back to Orkniar with the spoils. I believe I have freshly brewed... I have a fr freshly brewed vat of mead with my name on it waiting there. Okay. So 
there's that. Uh, so we are still 100 with the Klansmen, 40 with Rive, negative 10 with Yelling, 15 with the Northmen, uh, 60 with the Gales, 26 with the Picts, uh, ooh, that is unfortunate, 76 with Northumbria, and minus 5 with Mercia. Okay, no, that's my ship. I guess. Holy cow, my valuables now. Yep, I guess we'll leave. Okay, so I don't actually need to get back to, uh... Orkney are. You're seven, ten. Two. Oh man, Aslafer got down to two. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna have to need. I'm gonna need to do some things to bump that up a bit. Nafia's down to two. Ah. Roscoe's nine. Uh, Morcat is ten. Uh, I mean, you, you attack Lindisfarne, it's fine. It's okay. Uh, Ify is ten. Uh, Shayna is 8, uh, Idis is 6, Nikki is 8, and Bjorn is 7. Nafia, Nafia, I saved your sister! <sighs> Disappointing me. Uh, let's see. Inspire. Ruse makes all enemies within a 2 hex radius of the target hex attempt to leave the area. They are already engaged in melee. Stores the target's action. And I could do that. Actually, I need to spot traps. Can't get you that. Alright. Never really use Galder. Critical chance was 10. Fearless mental resistance is 100%. And base melee damage plus 20. That's, that is pretty good, but... Uh, I don't know. I suppose I will save up a little bit to uh, get some of that. That's pretty good. I'll take Relentless. It might be useful. That's good. I should probably get that. Let's get plus one movement. I don't remember if I was planning to do anything else with you. Um, what was I going to do with you? I got you healing. I got you witchcraft. I don't remember if there was anything I was thinking about. I guess I'll bump up her knife fighting. I'll hold off on points for everyone else for now. All right, uh, well, we can definitely do the Isle of the Apples. So let's actually go down to, um, Scarborough. And then we can sweep up and, and get all the uh, uh, things on our way up to Dunfriss. So that'll work out, I think. Uh, 
Uh, Gun Gunner and Nephia, you're 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 like clipped into the ship. It's, it's kind of creepy. All right, where was the? Uh Oh yeah, it was all the way over here. I bet that's going to be it. That looks like a suspicious rock. And you know it's probably about time to end the episode. The inscriptions speak of an ancient giant with emerald hair. The giant is fed by a silver snake that slithers around its legs. According to the symbols, a key is buried beneath the legs of the giant. Gunner lifts his feet. Nothing here! Ha! Then again, I have no hair at all. Must be some other giant. So what we're looking for is buried under something big? I don't understand the bit about the silver snake. How do we know it's even still here? The stone was written ages ago. Well, we'll find it. Alright, well, um... Yeah, uh, the episode has run long, so let's go ahead and end it. When we come back, uh, we will see what we can find about this uh, giant, so to speak. See you next time, everyone.